time to check out today's pickups. We're going to start off with that signed copy of Jet Li, Rise to Honor. Uh, best I can tell from what I found online, that is either an authentic Jet Li autograph or it is a very good fake. I'm sure somebody's going to light me up in the comments saying there's no way that's an authentic autograph for $3, but hey, the game for $3 alone is worth it, so whatever. I picked it up. I also stopped and checked out a dollar table at the swap meet, which I always do when there's a dollar table because you never know what you're going to find on there. And I was able to find a couple of good games. I found Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Uh, it's kind of funny I didn't realize until I got home that this is a Franken copy because that is actually the back label from the regular Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Um, but it does have the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 disc in it. Decently clean. I never knew this before, but there was a tip and trick hotline that you could call for Tony Hawk Pro Skater if you couldn't figure out how to play it on your own because it was such a difficult game. Uh, there was also a guy with a $5 box of games there. Uh, a lot of them were just mediocre titles, stuff I had, mainly sports games. Uh, but I did find a game that I had been looking for that I kind of forgot about, and that is uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Um, when the Budokai series came out back when I was in high school, me and my friends just got sucked in and we'd play it for hours. These games were a lot of fun, beat the crap out of your friends in Dragon Ball Z style, blow up your landscape, a lot of fun. Uh, they made three of these, I'm still hunting for the other two, but if you have a chance to pick this up and play it, I highly recommend it. It's definitely on Dan the Link's recommended game list for the PS2. And I also picked up at Book Off, as you saw, a copy of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Uh, this was one of my favorite games for the PS2 back in the day. Um, I put this in to try and get some game footage and I actually got sucked into it for a couple hours. So this is also on Dan the Link's recommended game list for the PS2. Obviously, I am a big NES fan. So when I found that box of $5 games, I had to dig through it and see what was in it. With today's NES prices, you cannot pass up a box of $5 games. Um, a lot of them that he had in there were really clean, except for two. One was Jeopardy, which I already had, so I didn't care. The other one, which I actually did not have already, was Slalom. Um, unfortunately, this is a three-screw version, not a five-screw. Um, and there's a lot of Sharpie marker on the card itself. There's none on the label. Uh, this comes off really easy. Another game that I picked up out of that box was Friday the 13th. Uh, LGN game. Not the best game. It's still fun, though. At least I enjoy it. Um, I already have this game in my collection, but I picked this up because I know some people that are looking for it, and they'll trade me a game, or I'll just pass the savings on to them. So help out your collecting friends if you have any. Uh, I actually talked them down to $4 on this one, and that is the Black Bass because it doesn't get any more intense than fishing on the NES all I can say about that game. Didn't have it. Have it now. Four dollars. I might have overpaid. Back to the Future was another one I found in there that I had been looking for because I had the cart that had two and three on it, but I didn't have the original one. Uh, so for five dollars to complete my set of Back to the Future games, not going to pass that up. Uh, another one that I just I couldn't live without being in my collection is the Wall Street Kid, because who doesn't love the stock market? I mean, kids back in the 80s, that's all I heard about on the bus, stock market this, stock market that, gotta love the stock market, right? Is it the same for you? No? Hmm. Yeah, then I really don't know why they made this game. Arkanoid, great game. Um, this is the five screw. Really clean label. Um, I've been hunting for the Arkanoid controller for a while. It's kind of hard to find at a swap meet. People tend to know what it is and ask quite a bit for it. Um, definitely going to have to hunt one down now because Arkanoid is a lot of fun and even more fun if you have the Arkanoid controller. Another pickup I got was Cobra Triangle. Um, I dare say this was my sister's favorite NES game when we were kids because when we got a Super Nintendo, the NES ended up getting put in my room and she'd come in and play this game for hours. A lot of nostalgic memories for me with this game and I had to get it back in my collection. Five dollars, not going to pass that up. 
And the last but not least is Spy vs. Spy. Great fun little game. I always hear people talking about this. Uh, I didn't have it as a kid, but I did have it in my collection uh, a while ago. It ended up getting stolen. But I have it again now. Super clean label. Like I said, most of that guy's games were super clean. Um, and that's this week's pickups. Thanks for watching.